Welcome to Lost Girls in History, where we explore remarkable women who changed the world. Today, we bring you the story of Sophie Scholl, a courageous young woman who stood up against the horrors of Nazi Germany. Sophie Scholl was born on May 9, 1921, in Forchtenberg, Germany, as the fourth of six children in the Scholl family. Her parents were Robert Scholl, a liberal-minded politician and mayor of Forchtenberg, and Magdalena Scholl, a caring and supportive mother. Sophie had two elder sisters, Ing and Elizabeth, an elder brother, Hans, and two younger siblings, Werner and Thild, who died young. Sophie's parents, Robert and Magdalena, instilled in their children a deep sense of integrity, justice, and compassion. They encouraged open discussions and nurtured a love for literature, art, and music within the family. During her youth, Sophie and her siblings joined Nazi youth organizations. It was a great disappointment to both parents who instilled in their children strong Christian moral compasses and a sense of responsibility to stand up against injustice. These organizations aimed to indoctrinate young Germans with Nazi ideology, shape their values, and prepare them for roles as loyal supporters and soldiers of the Nazi regime. The Hitler Youth, Hitler Jugend or HJ, was the primary organization for boys aged 14 to 18, while the League of German Girls, Bund Deutscher Mädel or BDM, served as the counterpart for girls. The League of German Girls was one of the largest female organizations in the world, with over 4 million members in 1944. It was there that Sophie felt conflicted with the organization's ideals. Over time, she was uncomfortable with the Nazis' ideology. She was confused when two of her Jewish friends were barred from the League of German Girls and was equally confused when banned from reading Jewish authors, as she was an avid reader. Sophie witnessed the rise of Adolf Hitler and the devastating consequences of the Nazi regime. These experiences, combined with her family's teachings, instilled in her a deep aversion to injustice and a determination to resist the oppressive regime. Her brother, Hans Scholl, became her most trusted confidant and partner in their resistance activities. Together, they founded the White Rose Movement in 1942, along with their fellow students at the Ludwig Maximilian University in Munich. The non-violent resistance movement opposed the Nazi regime and defied the odds in their pursuit of truth and justice. Driven by their shared belief in freedom and humanity, Sophie, Hans, and a few close allies distributed anti-Nazi leaflets that called for resistance and aimed to awaken the German public to the atrocities committed by the Nazis, including the Holocaust. The White Rose faced great risks in their activities. They operated in secrecy, distributing the leaflets in universities and public places, and mailing them to addresses throughout Germany. On February 18, 1943, Sophie and Hans were caught distributing leaflets at the Ludwig University Maximilian of Munich. It happened when Sophie reached the top floor of the university. Driven by a surge of courage, she flung leaflets from the top floor, letting them scatter down into the atrium below. Little did she know that her spontaneous action was witnessed by the university maintenance man, who was a professed Nazi. Arrested by the Gestapo, the Nazi secret police, the siblings were arrested and subjected to a swift trial. Despite intense interrogation and pressure to reveal their collaborators, Hans and Sophie remained steadfast and refused to betray their cause. On February 22, 1943, Hans, along with Sophie, was sentenced to death by the People's Court for treason and undermining the war effort. They were executed on the same day, their final act of defiance against the Nazi regime. The executioner Johann Reichhardt, known for his chilling efficiency, ended their lives through the guillotine. Reichhardt has said that he has never seen anyone die as bravely as Sophie. Her final words before her execution were, such a fine, sunny day, and I have to go. But what does my death matter if, through us, thousands of people are awakened and stirred to action? Sophie Scholl's bravery and sacrifice have left an enduring legacy. Her unwavering commitment to truth, justice, and resistance against oppression continues to inspire people around the world. Sophie's story serves as a reminder that even in the darkest times, a single voice can ignite hope and spark change. Want to learn more about history? Go to marygolearning.com where you can get even more information.